What's up guys, this is the Rifeman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as France. So to round up our last time, the Russians have attacked us in Archangelsk and we have this garrison force outside which hopefully it arrives and hopefully I can run them up in time. So let's crack on. They have no artillery so they're not going to be storming so that will give my infantry plenty of time to uh, to get in, to get on. So I'm not concerned about that as long as they show up. If they don't show up then I'll use them as my sieging forces as a bit of a balance. Forces will be sufficiently broken up. Okay, so let's take all these guys. So let's put... Militia, infantry, infantry... Militia, militia, you're on the walls, you're on the walls. Ooh. Let's deploy you there. Let's deploy you there. Of course, my loyal and true Russian, my allies, sorry, have uh, arrived. Although that has prompted the Russians to run. So I could do with them running right now. To be honest, I should have rearranged my, my troops, but these things happen. So I'll take my militia and run them along here. Start to sweep guys off of this section of the wall, I think. So I probably want to do like this. Get them to run. More militia. Because it'll help them not it'll help my these guys stop. It'll help it'll help stop these enemies from getting grappling irons on the walls. And ultimately, even though this is a unit of guards moving up, that's a lot of firepower allied against it. for 188 troops. It's a lot of muskets. They're not very good muskets, but they're still muskets, you know. They're still capable of putting fire out. These guys might be slightly different. I might just want to get them in the walls. Because I don't want to engage necessarily on this front. Because it looks like that might be a bit of a silly endeavour. Make sure all my militia units have guard mode on. I'll run a guard unit around the outside though. So it's guard unit. Yeah, yeah, the guard unit's broken already. Get them to run outside. They're still running inside. Get my guards to still run inside. Because these guys are going to get a garrison. They are they are going to get a foothold on the wall. Well, say that. If I run them there, they might not. Don't need to worry about this flank. They've pushed them off. So I set them up, set these guys up here. They'll have a chance to, to mob them somewhat as they get onto the wall. So I want to run my militia out here to take pot shots at them as they try and climb up. The immediate threat has passed. Grenadier guards are about to get up on the walls. If I can make them route before they get up the walls, though, that would be lovely. Sadly not. Let's run this unit of militia around the flank. See, I want my my elite troops inside. Let's 
This is going to be grim. Okay, let's move my militia out here and then move my line infantry there instead. They're winning slightly, but when my guys get some shots off, that should start to help out a little bit. The Grenadiers I'm concerned about. Although my, minute, my infantry have managed to do a reasonable job. These guys are fire good. They're firing onto them at the ground, on the ground, and that will should do some good. Let's run you up here. You run up here. Get everyone else in. See, militia's good enough. At times, it did well. It's good enough when guys aren't shooting back at you. Okay, good. Let's do this instead. Run my Swiss line infantry up here. Let's move this militia unit along here to fire to fire onto this unit of Cossacks. Move this militia unit up to fire at them. Line entry guards has re redeployed or regrouped. Let's run you up into a position on the wall. Come on. Take position. Don't fire over there. So inside. Engage the grenadiers at extreme range. One grenadier guards, maybe nice if we could kill him. All those militia shooting at one man. You engage these Cossacks. You engage those Cossacks. Good, so now I've got my elite infantry up here. Let's sandwich them in, in between my troops. If 
Unfortunately, my this unit of line infantry guards has been distracted to try and chase down my militia. So these guys have been have bugged out. Let's run them back to the center if possible. Let's run you, this line infantry unit up here to help support this militia unit, although it may actually do okay. Good, let's redeploy these troops. Let's put this line infantry unit down. Okay. Let's do a front off for all of them. Take up fighting positions on the walls, down your eyes. Can we speed up time a little bit? Because these guys keep popping off shots at the grenadiers. These guys are being uncooperative. There we go. Bring my militia's militia inside. Come on, take up your spot on the walls. Good. Okay, they are actually sending their line infantry guards back up because ultimately everyone else is these two units of cavalry. Line infantry guards unit, unit of dragoons, but I can't remember if they can actually if they can actually contribute and another cavalry unit. So the only infantry infantry unit they have is this unit of line infantry guards. So let's in position to be honest even against good old militia I still like my militia's chances because it's going to take them up they're going to get a lot of casualties trying to get up into position god and so because they have dragoons well, I'm going to assume because they have Dragoons, the game can't end. So I'm going to have to wait this battle out. And because, well, I'm, I'm for some reason they're not going to attack because they're Dragoons. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to cut the film here and then I'll bring you back um, when I'm finished. So see you guys in a sec. Okay, guys, you might be wondering why we are no longer seeing the end part of that Russian battle. That's because um, I finished defending up here in Russia and then I carried on playing the game then I went down to India and defended a Sally from Arcot and then when playing as Arcot the recording you know right towards the end the recording broke and I'm only finding this out now um, so that's what's that's why uh, you're no longer seeing the Russian part, the end of the Russian battle, and that will also be why in the next part I'll seem very upbeat that you guys um, will have watched the defence of our cuts because I completely thought that the recording would have survived, that it wouldn't have completely have broken completely, um, but it has. 
So that's why in the next six minute stretch I'll seem quite positive and then I'll come back to to my mentality now because I'm recording that this uh, about two minute section after recording the following six minutes of this Empire video. Very confusing. But hopefully you guys can keep up. So just so it goes. Okay, so you're kind of wondering why I'm here and why these battle statistics may necessarily represent what the battle had actually happened. Well, that's because during the cleanup phase, the game decided to crash to desktop. That's right, right after I'd fought the battle and I was just hoovering up the last remnants, Empire Turbo stopped working, and that was that. So, I did it all. so this was a pretty much an auto-resolve, just wondering if I could actually get it back, um, having to refight the battle. Unfortunately, the, the AI uh, rolled the dice in my favour and managed to win the Sally. Yeesh, that was... Annoying to say the least, but from your guys' perspective, it was still one uh, one complete battle. For me, it was a well complete battle. It was still a battle. You know, for me, it was like that's a always nice. Region that has not yet been yep. Developed. So Crimea still. We still lost Crimea, and we still defended um, the region up here. These things still yeah. happen, so it's not it's not too bad. Spanish new town emerges in Florida. Industry, industry. Region lost Crimea, yep, yeah, we know that. Enemy raid in the trapper posts and stuff down here, yep, we know that. Somebody's gonna slaughter Kazan. If we move them out, yep, they can go move on and take Ufa immediately. Because I suppose when you're this far away from anything you don't really worry about who's in charge loads of global trading companies have been built army staff college let's get engineer school as well army staff college in copenhagen let's get another engineer school there too major fisheries church school in moscow a much underrepresented but still important building for me Let's look at you in there. Good. To be honest, let's move you out now. Put you in. Replenish. And then let's get... To you, to you, to you. Let's get some... The last two units of Swiss Grenadiers. How about that? Seems like a good idea. Let's go to Sloop. Ready to transport this army across to India so let's embark the army and then let's hit Calcutta because hopefully there shouldn't be nope there isn't anyone here and it's a fairly weak army so I'm just going to hold on to it for now yeah, I've got three turns ready still to wait before I lose this region so I want to hope that they actually uh, decide to attack me and let's take this army and then let's just finish them off. Arcot is captured. Because it wasn't really a complete army. And then let's replenish you chaps. And let's get to work investing in this region. And let's start buttering up Mysore. You're indifferent. Well, you know what? Let's trade. Okay, how about I give you some lovely jewellery? No alliance. Now let's trade. Trade and I'll give you... I'll give you rights. No. Oh, it's because you're, it you're a protector? I don't know, but you really like me. So don't... Don't betray me, you hear? So what makes this region particularly valuable are the, the gem mines, which are an abundant yield gem mines. This gem mine is 2,000 itself. Average yield tea plantation, average yield spice plantation. Let's recruit some guerrilla mercenaries to start to garrison some of these ports. I've got a fishery. So this port, does it struggle to export things? No, it does not. So you'll be fine, particularly when I upgrade you. So I might just upgrade this one to a, a shipyard. So I've got um, military capability, shipbuilding capability in the Indian continent, on the Indian continent. 
so let's hop back to Europe. Keep on upgrading. You're still replenishing. You are replenished, but if I move you out... You're not completely unhappy. Let's move you into position. Let's take this smaller French fleet and embark the Swedish force. And let's not do them let's not do them in dishonour. Let's just recruit some mercenary garrison troops. And let's deploy them off off their shores about here. Good. To be honest, these navies aren't really much of anything anyway. Um, but still. Let's, let's take refuge in Visby. So there we go. Now we have our, our armies are starting to gather together, ready to push and destroy the last Swedish force. The last Swedish stronghold. Does it have any defences? No, it does not. I got a brave soldier from this chap. Region capture there, good. Distiller. Sorry, distiller. <laughs> Happy drinker. Good man. A bit Karnataka secured. Yeah, 10,000 by itself. It'd be a lot more when I've finished my upgrades. But yeah, I think, look, Bob. I'm guessing by the time it's probably going to be the end of this part because obviously I've why is it the end of this part you know what one second guys I need to check my recordings just a minute okay so this has all been very confusing and hopefully you guys aren't too um, confused because obviously it's been perspectives have been changing I was fighting in Russia and then I'm now me and then I was in I mean, no, I'm not going to explain it um, but the crux of the matter is that unfortunately because of the crapped out recording you guys have missed the um, defence of Archangelsk and the defence of um, Arkart. I didn't realise that this battle was this defensive battle was also part of the this battle anyway I'm not going to dwell on it, it's annoying as hell but anyway I've solved the issue the only reason I know this is a thing is because I checked my recordings um Bit, let's crack on it's not the end of this part i'm probably about pff, just over 20 minutes in so nothing nothing major but yes let's hit end turn anyway let's ignore it <laughs> it's frustrating but you know these things happen so i've got my priests on the go things are looking good um i need to keep the pressure on in india because if you there and let the ai dictate then they will um very much just start steamrolling you with more infantry and more armies than you can actually handle which is very frustrating to experience so i've got that army coming in from france and i'm wondering if i want to deploy it against goa that's quite tempting um but it might leave them a bit exposed on the western flank until I secure... Is it Hyderabad? Or is Hyderabad further north? There's a region just to the northeast of Mysore, which is a major town, which if I capture that, then my east and western fronts will be combined. But I need to capture that first. Well, I need to capture it to, combine, to, com to uh, complete my front. So that's a consideration I need to make. But ultimately, I don't think it will be. Oh, wow. Well, I'll say oh, well. Yeah, I do say oh, well. That's quite a nice little fleet. Wait. Oh, I thought that literally would smelly. Um, second rate. Some good f first. First three seconds and a bunch of... A bunch of junk. You know what? I really can't be asked to fight this shit battle. Nous régnerons oh, well. I'll take the sloop and... Oh. Yeah. <laughs> what, with, what with this recording problems and stuff at the minute? Right now I just want a bit of a... Bit of a breather. <laughs> just want to be figuring out what's going on. 
but it, that has signaled I need more ships to defend against the Russians. Which seems funny to French. So I want to see if the Swedes try and engage me in the field up near uh, Finland. Uh... Hmm. Oh, mm. I'm tempted to say no. Let's see where they go. Good. So they've not made it to the fort. That's what I wanted to happen. I want I want my garrison to effectively do some engaging. And I want them to be equipped. And I can't... Oh, yes. Please just start moving your armies off to the east. Oh, no. They came back. And yes, I would like... I do want my Mo Moscow garrison to be... Um, equipped to defend itself. And... I want... When those forces get close to Moscow, I want to lure them into an attack on the city because that's the, the best situation you can put yourself in. And I absolutely want to sally out against um, in this area, in this region that you could just see to the in um, is it Katak? I definitely want to sally out there in order to end the oh, siege. There are naturally occurring resources in this region that are not cut. Good. See, so now Moscow has got a good solid bunch of bunch of uh, troops defending it so you timothy can go down and lay siege to kiev oh will you indeed Monsieur? um if i do that then let's engage we get, get ready to engage them crew two swiss grenadiers then crew did i see something with two chevrons of experience i did it was the marines Get two chasseurs up here. Oh, only one. Under my shotgunners, Swiss pikes. I don't want to go that way because otherwise they'll trick me into fighting against over the river. So if I do this. En avant pour la couronne et le pays. There we go. Now we might be able to engage in, an, in a uh, river battle. Let's take a bunch of these guys out. A bunch of these guys out to go hit this wandering army. Let's just take you guys, replenish, chase them down. Oh, that was everyone. Didn't want to do that, did I? Replenish and run back. Although, if they do fancy it, I still fancy my odds. One unit. No, they can't even. They can't even siege me. Well, they can wait, but they can't actually do anything. Like they can, they siege me, but they can't assault me. Trade with raided. Any raid at Azov. Any raid at whatever the hell that was. That's a building. Let's keep building the shipyard up. Got an engineer school. Good, 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 good. Genoa has been... Well, Genoa is the new Turkey, effectively. Yeah, they've been repulsed. So what I want to do... Well, the main thing is to go back to India for now. Good, you occupy there, you occupy there. Yeah, it's Hyderabad. So if I move you out of this region, will you freak out? A bit. But not so much. And let's do something like this. Well, not too much French East India Company, but we want to get some Indian mercenaries as well. To be a bit more fluffy. Now what we will do is we'll do this and we will hit the sieging force and then we will sally out. But looking at the timer, I think that's the end of this part. So thanks for watching guys, thanks for putting up with this very, very convoluted part. And we'll see you next time where we will push the Indians away from our, well, from our forts, from our city, from our town, from our gains. Right here guys, see you next time.